What's up trading friends, welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sam from Top Trade Team guys and in today's video we're going to be discussing both CXAI and AI stock and I'm going to be telling you exactly which stock I will be opening a position in extremely soon. So with that being said guys, this is going to be an extremely informative video. I'm going to be telling you guys exactly where do I see the stocks going and no, you know, too long to the watch version, both of them are looking bullish, okay? Both of them are looking bullish, but one of them is definitely looking more bullish than the other. I'm going to be explaining exactly why. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button and now let's just jump right into the nitty gritty. We're going to start talking by, we're going to start talking about CXA and then we'll jump into AI, okay? So we'll go three, two, one, and action okay beautiful so here we have the cxa chart guys as you guys can see cxa has risen all the way upwards of 21 dollars and since then it has sold off to the nine dollar levels that it's in right now now on the chart it does have room to go all the way down to about the eight dollar levels right 850 eight dollars to 850 levels okay the bottom side of these candles bottom side of these candles bottom side of these candles now if it breaks eight let's say 840 850 if it breaks these levels then i could easily see it fall all the way down to the support level at about six dollars and fifty cents now if it breaks six dollars and fifty cents it's pretty much screwed right guys because what you need to understand is that gaps fill up both ways right and basically this stock has pretty much no support all the way down to this level at three dollars and fifty cents okay so the six dollars and the six dollar levels is extremely important right and if it breaks below 828 if it breaks let's say below eight dollars okay i could see the stock easily says 650 or 630 and then after if it breaks 630 it's probably falling down all the way upwards of down downwards of three dollars okay so that's when it comes to cxai now i can't lie to you guys when it comes to cxai's chart i don't like cxai's swing trading chart much and i'll tell you guys why right because it is nowhere near any support levels right now right it is at a support level but it doesn't look like it's planning on holding it, right? It looks like it's heading downwards to the, towards the $6 support level. So for that reason, I'm staying away. Now, on the other hand, here we have AI, right? AI ticker, C3 AI, guys. This ticker is looking extremely good for a swing trade. I mean, just look at this chart, right? Look at this chart. Just by looking at the price action of this chart, guys, when you turn this on, um, let me turn this on. Let me put this support level over here at $30, $30 right? When you look at this $30 support line, guys, look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. It's dinged it over here. It's dinged it over here. It's flirted with it over here, right? Bottom side of these candles. Guys, the stock fell all the way from $43, and it was at $30 that it found its home. And right now, the stock has also bounced off of this $31 level, which is, again, the $30 level, right? Because what you need to understand is that support, I know I drew a line over here. I don't like using lines when it comes to support resistance. What I actually like using is going to be you know, these, um, let's, let's do a little rectangle-ish, right? I like using these rectangles, right? Because the truth is, guys, that support and resistance don't actually work the way as you would think they work, right? And they work rather in a, in a window type of deal, right? So I would say 30, the $30 level is anywhere from $30 to $31 even, right? Maybe $31.50, maybe even $32, right? I would actually lower that even. I would say it's anywhere from $29, right? I would say this is the support range, right? This is the support for the stock right now, right? Anywhere from, right? From $29 to $31 is go or $32 is going to be the $30 support level. Why? Why? Because the truth is, guys, a lot of times what we get when it comes to support and resistance is that we get fake breakouts, right? We get fake breakouts. And in order to avoid fake breakouts in general, what you want to do is that you want to actually... For me, now the mindset that I trade with is that the break of the support, the break of the confirmation of support means that support is broken. The break of the confirmation of resistance means that resistance is broken. And before that, it doesn't, I don't really, I don't really take that as a, like, let's say the stock gets to, let's say the, the support level is at $10 and the stock falls down to $9 and 90 cents and it bounces back up. Does that mean the $10 support is broken? No, it doesn't mean the $10 support is broken. Or let's say the stock, you know, is dropping and instead of, rebounding up at $10, it rebounds off of $10.40. What level did it reject? What level did it hold? It held the $10 level, okay? That's still the $10 level, that, that's the $10 support level doing its job at $10.40, okay? So you're not gonna make a new level there, no, you're just gonna say the $10 level goes anywhere from, let's say, $9.50 to $10.50, okay? Because once again, you wanna also get confirmation of, you know, 
break of either support or resistance. So with that being said, right, right now we're in that support phase, right? And this is where you want to be buying and you want to set your stop loss maybe at $27, right? So that's why personally, I'm going to be opening a position on AI. Now, why? Why AI? Okay. So now that we know why AI over C3, over CX AI, that's because the chart looks a lot better, right? That's it. Now, why would I even open a position in the AI sector right now? Guys, the AI sector right now is cooling down. The AI sector right now is, you know, it's kind of lot. It's took a dip in its momentum. Now, why do I say dip? That's because AI has not gone anywhere yet. And there's only going to be a matter of time until we get another massive catalyst, whether it's a big government funding or whether it's a company making a lot of money from their AI sector or whatever it may be. AI is going to go crazy once again, okay? And if you're able to buy in at these prices, at the times where, you know, it's quiet and it's hush-hush, you're going to make a lot of money when the trend repeats itself and AI is back on top again and AI is going crazy again, okay? Because I'm telling you guys, AI is here to stay and right now this dip in momentum is a great opportunity to get some cheap, cheap prices when it comes to AI. So with that being said, I would watch that $30 levels when it comes to C3, when it comes to AI stock, ticker symbol AI, okay? Now, what I want you guys to know is that, okay, before, before we get to the short interest and everything like that on AI, guys, quick little reminder that our Discord right now, for the next 10 people that join, we're holding a flash sale. For the next 10 people that join, it will give you 50% off, okay? You get 50% off the next 10. I chalked that sales pitch, okay? I fucked it up, who cares? Just check out the Discord. The next 10 people that join, we get 50% off, okay? And um, yeah, that's it. It's first one money back guarantee, but you're not going to want to leave. Why? Because our Discord has been, you know, we've been making a killing in the Discord, man, right? You know, over here, great call, great today, Sam, you know, turn 5K into 5,500. You know, over here, we have our friend, you know, from our optional is 418% in the previous month, right? Over here, 18% in the last week, PNL for um for big bucks or what, right? Just recently joined the community, $148 on BAM, right? This 1.4% PNL daily is on his whole portfolio, right? And obviously, you don't trade with your whole portfolio in order to make money, right? So there's that, right? Over here, we have massive gains, 98% gains on a, on a Baba call, right? Because we do also do options trading. But majority of the trades that we take, guys, are actually, you know, runners in the morning, right? This U-Car trade, we made a bunch of money on it, right? My boy, $810 for Tyler, $144 over here for um, for Thick, thick Gym, right? And um, yeah, dude, yeah, we just been making a killing day after day. So check us out, guys. The link is in the comments in the description. And like I said, the next time people that join will receive it for 50% discount. It's also first month money back guarantee with no reasons required. Meaning you join, you don't like it, you get your money back, okay? But I'm telling you, you're not gonna you're not gonna wanna leave, right? Because we've been making a killing day after day in the Discord. So check us out, guys. The link is in the comments in the description. And um, yeah, dude, that's it. Give us a give us a shot. It also gives you access to the traders watch list, which is updated every single night with stocks to um, you know, watch out and Watch out for squeeze and everything that look AI is actually here on the on our on our squeezy sector, right? And um yeah, dude, so super exciting stuff. So with that being said, with that being said, check it out the links in the comments in the description. And um yeah, so I'm gonna be buying this. Now let's get talking about the short interest on C3AI. CXAI. Okay, so first of all, CXAI is short interest. When it comes to CXAI, let's get talking about CXAI. CXAI short interest is about 16% with 488% short with for cost to borrow. So it's not really 16%, guys, right? It's really not 16%. However, this 16% is why is it not 16% even though it shows 16%? Because 16% doesn't count for naked shorts, synthetic shares, dark blue volume, and all that goody stuff. Okay. In fact, I think CXCI is worth making a whole video on just because of its mass in insane cost to borrow. I mean, 488%, that is an insane cost to borrow. What's cost to borrow? This is the amount that shorts are paying in order to be able to hold their stocks short. To put this into perspective for you guys, all right, let's go to a stock that has more chance, especially like Tesla. So remember, CXCI's short interest was 16% with 488% cost to borrow. Let's go to Tesla. And compare its short interest to its cost to borrow, okay? Guys, Tesla has a short interest of about 3.23%, right? So about a quarter of what um what CXAI shows, but look at this cost to borrow. It's not even a one percent. It's not even a one percent. CXAI has almost a five hundred X, more than a five hundred X, at almost a thousand X cost to borrow of of Tesla, while Tesla only has a quarter of, you know, CXAI's short interest. So that just, that just goes to show, right? That CXAI's short interest, it's just not accurate at all. Okay, now let's head over to AI. Let's see what AI is up to, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so AI is sitting at 30% short interest. So actually a higher short interest, but over here, guys, what we have is about an 18% cost to borrow, okay? Which is relatively low, but it is what it is, right? So not much of a short, short, short squeeze action is on AI. However, C3 AI does look like it could be a candidate for a short squeeze. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button, guys, because, you know, as always, you want people to get, you want people to know what's happening, right? You want people to know that there's an opportunity right now when it comes to AI, the ticker AI and the AI sector in general, because the AI sector is dipping and, you know, trends repeat themselves. There's going to be another catalyst when it comes to the sector. Let's be honest. It's, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to open a position in C3 C, on AI at $30 per share. So that's going to be massive. And um, yeah, I'll be guys find value in today's video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Also, one more thing, guys. As always, you know how you know what the model is, right? When I make money, you make money. Guys, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. What's Moomoo? Moomoo is one of the best trading platforms out there, but you may have a trading platform already. Just hear me out. Right now, if you make an account with Moomoo, Moomoo Moo will give you guys a stock. And then if you deposit $1, Moomoo Moo will give you guys another stock. The stock they give you for making an account is usually ass. It's garbage. But the stock they give you when you actually deposit some money, now it's $1 to get the, another stock is usually pretty good. Okay? It's usually pretty good. In fact... Last year, I had a lady join, right, Mumu, and she got a $1,000 stock. Tesla stock, free stock Tesla, 1,307 SGD. What's 1,307 SGD to USD? That's 980 bucks. So she got a $1,000 stock by depositing back then $10. You have to deposit the other free stock. Now it's $1. So all I'm asking you guys is to make an account, deposit a dollar, takes 10 minutes. Make an account, deposit a dollar, see what stock you get. Just try your luck because you may be the next person that also gets a $1,000 stock. That's unlikely, okay? That's extremely unlikely. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That is extremely, extremely unlikely. But what we get a lot of people from our community get is $100 stocks, $200 stocks, $80 stocks, you name it. Bro, you take 10 minutes, you make 80 bucks. You made 80 bucks, okay? In 10 minutes. Just give it a try because Mumu also allows you to sell the stock and take the money as well. With that being said, my friends, check out Mumu. I look forward to talking to you guys in the Discord. We will be buying AI tomorrow at around the price of $30. With that being said, your boy Sam from Top 14.